What are you at, ladies and gentlemen, like goes here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about my preferred way to make hexagons really easily. As you'll see in the background here, there's a little contraption here on the ice, and that is one of the missions in the new Genesis expansion. If you want to know how to find missions, you can just go into your mission log, which is in here, and you can see all the list of missions that are in your current area. And you can actually track the mission to see exactly where it is. The mission that I'm going to be talking about today is the ice fishing mission in the Arctic zone. And I'm going to be talking specifically about the beta version of this mission. It gives tw uh, pretty much 2,500, 2,499 hexagons. Now, if you guys don't know what hexagons are or don't know how to use them, all you gotta do is talk to your little robot buddy here and you can see all the things that she offers for hexagons. So basically it's a currency to buy a lot of different cool little things. Resources, loot crates, stuff like that. Uh, and if you guys stick around to the end of the video I'm actually gonna open one of the tier 3 loot crates and show you guys what you can expect to get out of those. So basically all you need to do is you need to come to the arctic find this specific mission uh, the reason why I like to do this mission as opposed to others is it's very simple um, you can basically do it semi AFK and it's almost a guaranteed 2500 every 10 to 15 minutes that's usually about how long it takes me um, and that I find is, is a really good amount of hexagons to be getting so really all you need to do just come up here and then like I said I recommend doing the beta version of it uh, you can try out the alpha version because you're gonna you would get a whole lot more with the alpha version if you're able to do it but I find that one little mistake in the alpha version and you're messed up for the whole for the whole game and you basically just need to reset it so yeah definitely try the alpha version and see how good you are like if you're really good at quick time events you can probably you might be able to get it pretty consistently but for me it's really not consistent enough so just activate the mission there run over to one of these chairs throw out your line and then you just wait you wait until you get a bite um, and then once you get a bite you're basically just doing a quick time event and on the beta version is really simple um, there's not too much challenge to it at all so here we go with the quick time event and there you go so for the beta you can see in the corner there you need to do it 13 times within 20 minutes and getting 13 fish within 20 minutes is pretty easy um, if you find that it's been a while since you caught a fish last, I just get up and run to the next hole. Usually catch around three or four, four or five um, per fishing hole, and then I just run to the next one. Because you will find that the uh, the fishing hole will run out of fish eventually. So you just run to the next one and um, start fishing again. One little bonus thing that you guys may not know about, if you say hello, your little robot guy she'll give you 300 hexagons you can do that periodically um, every so often you can't you can't spam it but you can do it every so often for a little bonus hexagons um, one thing that I do want to say about this is I am playing on a private server so I know for sure like on a private server or in your single player this will work very well um, but as for official servers I'm not really sure how this would go because um, only one person can do this mission at a time um, so it depends on how much competition you have here and obviously if you're uh, playing on a PvP server you could run into quite a bit of trouble as far as um, hostile creatures uh, there usually isn't too many hostile creatures in this area uh, you may come across a bear um, or maybe a micro raptor perhaps wandering across the ice at some point um, so I do bring along a, a tame, which I usually put on follow to follow me around uh, and take care of any sort of hostiles that may be in the area. Alright, 
Now let's buy ourselves a tier 3 loot crate. I'm really curious to see what kind of what kind of stuff you can get out of these loot crates. Oh, that's cool. Not a bad amount of items. Tech replicator, that's really cool. And the blueprint for the tech chess piece is a pretty good haul there. Um, later on, I'm probably going to make a video where I open a bunch of these. Like I said, I'm my, on my private server, so I can just um, put in the console command to to get a whole bunch. Probably going to open maybe 10 or 20. Um, but where I'm on my private server, I do not like to cheat on my private server, so I'm going to just open up a bunch of them, and then I'm just going to throw it all out. Probably going to do it right now. I'm just going to throw it all out on the ice and just let it disappear. Uh, so if you guys want to watch that, you can check that out at a later time. Probably today or tomorrow I'll be coming out with that video. So you guys could like or subscribe. That is much appreciated. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.